An open space is often fair game for advertisers. Your cell phone is no different. That's because of text messaging. Basically, short emails sent via cell phone. The popularity of text messaging is increasing in Canada. And as Susan Ormiston reports, advertisers see an opening. Believe it. For teens like Matt Chin, a phone call's too intrusive. He uses his cell phone to send an instant text message to a friend. If you're in class and you're trying to act <laughs> you, like, yeah. like you're not doing anything, it's good for that and if you want to get a message across. <laughs> Teens are what the industry calls early adapters. They send the bulk of 25 million text messages a month in Canada, double last year. It's become a viable new medium for advertisers. Digital marketers like Roman Bodnerchuk call it an avalanche, ready to roll. Promotions for potato chips and school supplies coming soon to your cell phone. Hi Kevin, interested in winning a trip to Sandestin in Florida. What happens Example, Kevin might enter a contest and then agree to get future pitches or sports scores or stock quotes via text messages on his phone. Now we can really market to people anywhere, anytime and even by location. Very tough to do that with, with email or web. The future, according to Bodnerchuk, Matt and his friend Christian are at the mall. Through a GPS locator on his phone, Matt's favorite store sends him a text message. 20% off leather jackets today. If it was personalized and it started sending us stuff like about, like about like good sales and you know anything that you needed, then it would be useful. The danger is that you'd be getting them wherever you went and they'd be overloading your cell phone. The key, say the phone companies, advertisers can't message you unless you agree. You have to opt in to receive ads and give out your cell phone number. But will that work to keep ads you don't want, spam, off your cell phone? In Japan, spam on phones got out of control before the carriers and government cracked down with laws and technology. In North America, text messaging is newer. In Arizona, an entrepreneur is forewarning what could come. When I got uh, my first cell phone spam, which is now uh, what, two and a half years ago, uh, I realized that this was going to be the same thing all over again, except in a much more immediate medium. Here, the large carriers like Bell Mobility control the phone We're networks and, and say they can keep home. marketers honest and spammers out. We, um, we haven't had any real concerns about spam and Bell Mobility actually has an anti-spamming solution on their network. What is it? How does it work? Uh, it limits the number of messages that can be sent to a customer. We are nowhere near controlling spam, yeah. even on cell phones. The best defense? Protect your cell phone number. Know when you're opting in for advertising, and when you don't want the pitch anymore, get off the list. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, Toronto.